So even let's say people are asleep, but you you can deliver packages in the middle of the night or resupply restaurants or whatever the case may be, whatever people need at all hours of the day or night. Just recently, Tesla quietly released new photos that show Optimus's newest arm design. It was an easy detail to overlook. There wasn't an official announcement or a flashy marketing video. And yet, the modification is substantial, an arm that is 25% lighter, significantly more precise, and capable of adjusting its force for every small phase of a task. Picture Optimus viewing a single how-to video on a motorcycle engine teardown, then picking up a wrench, dismantling the engine block, and reassembling it perfectly. No competing robot comes close, as Elon Musk often highlights. While other bots are typically hard-coded or remote-controlled, the Tesla bot learns on its own at an astonishing rate. Show it a few online videos and it can master a hundred new abilities daily from calibrating fuel injectors to changing spark plugs, all without memory lapses or repeating errors. Now, Optimus Gen 3 is no longer just a prototype in a lab. It's ready to walk right out of the factory in Texas. So why is Musk launching this so quietly? And why the intense focus on perfecting its hands? Welcome to Tesla car world. What makes the brand new design of the Tesla bot Gen 3 so different? Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom, um, it will be able to play the piano. So, it's really like wow. The newly shown shoulder and arm system on the Tesla Bot Gen 3 signifies a huge leap forward. In the field of humanoid robotics, supplanting the previous dual hinge system. This new architecture incorporates a genuine ball and socket joint with a built-in harmonic drive, which provides a seamless three degrees of freedom. This allows the arm to get into confined areas and maneuver with accuracy from nearly any angle, greatly increasing its operational workspace. At its heart is an incredibly compact harmonic drive situated within the joint, which provides high torque density and almost no backlash, all while cutting actuator mass by more than 25%. Its system for regenerative braking recovers kinetic energy, which boosts energy efficiency and lengthens its operational duration. Surrounding the joint are embedded sensors that measure force torque and movement, enabling feedback control. On a millisecond scale, this grants the bot the dexterity to manage delicate items and the power to handle heavy objects. Moving between jobs with ease, all wiring data lines and pneumatics are rooted internally, which shields sensitive components and makes maintenance easier. A shell made from a light magnesium aluminum composite, reinforced with carbon fiber, trims weight by another 25%, which reduces inertia and enhances agility. This lets Gen 3 carry loads up to 7 kilograms with the same grace that earlier versions managed, with 5 kilograms while also increasing cycle efficiency by 20%. The sleek, sealed outer body and compliant design features also improve safety when working around humans. In total, this new design is more than an upgrade, it's a revolutionary step. It enables Tesla Bot Gen 3 to execute high-precision assembly, logistics, manual labor, and household assistance with remarkable skill establishing it as a new benchmark for scalable, human-focused automation. Optimus comes equipped with Tesla's sophisticated neural network and computer vision. Because of Tesla's neural network, Optimus is able to learn and execute complex tasks after watching them just once. And it can relearn new things with incredible speed, it may seem hard to believe. But someday when you have an Optimus, you will just show it a clip of your favorite artist playing a piece of music. The robot will break down every hand motion, chord, and beat afterward. It will instruct you step by step in a very natural manner, much like having a personal tutor. Get to the point where it can watch a video of something like a person, and then learn just by looking at that video and do that task to perform all of these jobs. Besides needing a brain for processing information and storing it, Optimus has another vital part, its specialized hands, hailed as the world's best robotic hands. It's an interesting point that a robot can function without legs, but without hands. It becomes little more than an inert metal frame, in practice, numerous. Jobs require people to remain seated with very little movement, which makes hands even more critical than legs. While Optimus moves at a relatively slow to miles per hour, it is the robot's precise and skillful hands that provide unparalleled accuracy and ability. Distinguishing Tesla from every competitor, Elon Musk has noted that the hands of Optimus are one of the most labor-intensive parts for his engineering team. The sensors and actuators were engineered entirely from scratch. Using fundamental physics principles, specifically, the hands and forearms received the most engineering attention and refinement, with about 8-D cameras and highly sensitive sensors. 
Picture a robot that can act as a vigilant guardian, patrolling your house. The Tesla bot's vision works with the same precision as the Tekken Tesla cars, which helps vehicles spot and steer clear of road obstacles. This gives Optimus the capacity to analyze and identify its surroundings with extreme accuracy. As it navigates your home, it can effortlessly identify and move around things like pets, furniture, or any other obstruction in more complex industrial settings like a giant Tesla factory full of machinery. Optimus can use this tech to improve terrain recognition, map its environment, and move smoothly around obstacles, guaranteeing both safety and efficiency. Why did Elon Musk choose to upgrade this specific design in Tesla Gen 3? The progression of the Tesla bot's arm from Gen 2 to Gen 3 signals a massive jump in both the quantity and complexity of tasks Optimus can handle a change that is particularly evident when you look at the hands on those arms in the Gen 2 version. Tesla gave the hands around 11 degrees of freedom, which was already superior to most rivals but still had major dexterity shortcomings. Those earlier hands could pick up objects, use a basic computer, and do simple chores like folding laundry and watering plants, however, they didn't have the fine-tuned control, or tactile sense needed for more delicate work, threads could slip, small tools might be fumbled, and some movements felt too clumsy for anything beyond a lab demonstration. With Gen 3, Tesla has overcome these limitations by creating what Elon Musk describes as the best robot hands in the world, now featuring 22 degrees of freedom that more accurately mimic the intricate biomechanics of a human arm, the actuators, and sensors were totally re-engineered, set within a sealed, waterproof casing that shields the internal electronics, while offering superior haptic feedback at every fingertip. This means the very same robotic hand that can tightly grip and twist open a jar, can also delicately handle an egg, thread a needle, or play piano keys with exacting force. All with the same hardware, consequently, Gen 3 Optimus can perform a much broader range of tasks than its forerunner could have ever managed. While Gen 2 could climb stairs, carry heavy trays, and load a dishwasher, Gen 3 has advanced to performing complex, multi-step procedures that demand simultaneous force control, fine motor skills, and immediate feedback. In recent demos, Gen 3 not only took out the trash and folded clothes but also sorted silverware by shape and size, trimmed delicate plants, and even did simple surgical-style stitching on fabric, demonstrating abilities that were unimaginable for the prior model. This transformation is made possible by combining advanced mechanical engineering with Tesla's AI-powered control systems. The new hand has eight high-raise cameras in the wrist and palm, which feed visual and depth information to the FSD-based computer vision concurrently. Every joint contains four sensors that constantly send pressure and position data to the neural network. This closed-loop system allows Gen 3 to adjust its grip in milliseconds, compensating for any slippage or unforeseen resistance beyond household work. The Gen 3 arm enhancement broadens Optimus's use, fullness in industrial and service fields in a way Gen 2 never could. In factories, Gen 3 can rapidly pick and place tiny components, manage fragile glass or ceramic items without breaking them and use standard power tools tasks that once needed a human or specialized robot, the hand's greater range of motion. And power density also enable Optimus to help in healthcare where it could hold surgical tools, handle medication vials, or operate basic diagnostic equipment under supervision. This versatility aligns with Elon Musk's vision of a humanoid robot that is more useful than a car. The ability to do high-precision work turns Optimus into a truly multi-purpose workforce aid not just a narrowly focused prototype. Importantly, Tesla's focus on scalability and cost-effectiveness means these ARM upgrades are not prohibitively expensive. By using the same 4,680 cell technology from Tesla cars to run its electronics, Tesla bought Gen 3 houses compact, high-energy power sources in the forearms, which gets rid of bulky external batteries and lowers the total weight. Simplified wiring and snap-in actuator modules streamline production helping Tesla stick to its aggressive price target of about $20,000 per bot. This design economy ensures that businesses looking to deploy Optimus fleets be it in warehousing, retail, or elder care can see a return on investment through clear productivity increases, rather than viewing the robot as an R&D expense. What really makes the Gen 3 arm stand out, though, isn't one single piece of hardware, but the combined result of many small improvements that together boost both performance and dependability from native AI motion planning that predicts user needs to hot swappable modular joints for quick field repairs. Every part of the arm has been refined to increase uptime and reduce maintenance. 
The outcome is a platform that can learn jobs from video, perfect those skills with practice, and apply them in different settings, all while retaining the delicate touch needed for sensitive tasks. In short, the Gen 3 ARM redesign elevates the Tesla bot from a proof of concept with limits to a truly versatile machine, able to do thousands more tasks with much greater speed and precision. By doubling the degrees of freedom, integrating advanced sensors, and tying it all to Tesla's AI and battery tech, Tesla has redefined the potential of humanoid robots, starting a new era where Optimus is not just a walking machine, but a skillful partner prepared for the full range of human work and challenges. What has Elon Musk stated about producing Gen 3 with its new design? Elon Musk has made it perfectly clear that the Tesla bot Gen 3 is much more than just a small update. It is the core of Tesla's goal to reshape not just transportation, but the entire concept of labor from the very first public displays of Optimus to private discussions with his engineering teams. Musk has framed Gen 3 as the moment when humanoid robotics will jump from research labs into everyday life. He has consistently emphasized that redesigning Optimus was among the most difficult parts of the endeavor, admitting that creating a form ready for mass production needed more than just minor adjustments, it required a complete, ground-up overhaul. Every single actuator, joint, and wire had to be re-evaluated for manufacturability, cost-effectiveness, and reliability. Musk is direct when he states that Gen 3's success will be judged not by lab demos, but by the tens of thousands of robots coming off the production line earlier this year. Tesla discreetly finished the first Gen 3 prototype, a machine created from over a thousand distinct parts assembled at its Fremont facility. Musk marked this achievement by calling Gen 3 the version with the true potential to perform a wide variety of tasks, hinting it would be shown to the public as soon as the first quarter. This reveal, he clarified, won't be another investor day. Presentation on a sterile stage. It will be the introduction of a product genuinely prepared for real-world application, featuring all the refinements waterproof hands, optimized drivetrains, and advanced power systems that set it apart from its predecessors. He has stressed that Tesla adds new updates to Optimus daily, but it's with Gen 3 that the robot will go beyond small demonstrations and become a scalable, deployable product. Production goals for Gen 3 are incredibly ambitious, Musk has revealed. Ambitious plans to manufacture 5,000 units by this year's end, with enough parts on hand for 10,000 to 12,000 robots. He openly stated that success would mean achieving even half that number. Even 5,000 robots is the size of a Roman legion, he joked. Invoking imagery of mechanical armies set to revolutionize the workforce, he then said the true victory would be to do it again the following year when Tesla would aim for 10 legions or about 50,000 robots. In later comments, Musk forecast an exponential increase to between 50,000 and 100,000 units by 2026, climbing to 500, zero or even a million by 2027, and eventually reaching a billion or more per year as global demand grows. These figures, though, astounding, show Tesla's belief in its integrated production ecosystem one that utilizes gigafactories, proprietary battery production and shared of components to lower costs and speed up manufacturing. Tesla's plan for launching Gen 3 is as audacious as its production goals, internally. The company intends to deploy 1,000 Optimus units in its own factories this year, integrating the robot into assembly lines for jobs like arranging for 1,680 battery cells and handling. Materials Musk sees these internal uses as both a practical measure testing durability under constant use, and a strong proof of concept that will persuade customers of Optimus's real-world utility by 2026. He has said, Tesla will begin selling robots to the public along with a rental service for businesses that need flexible, on-demand robot labor. This dual strategy of factory use followed by a commercial launch highlights Musk's conviction that robots must first demonstrate their value behind the scenes before they become common household items. In all his public commentary, Musk has consistently revisited one powerful idea, Gen 3 is Tesla's single most important product. He contends that while cars sit idle most of the time, Optimus will be working for hours daily, handling chores, manufacturing, caregiving, and possibly even aiding in space exploration. He pictures a future where every person has at least one robotic assistant, and Tesla's market value climbs to $25 trillion, driven by these mechanical helpers. His bold forecast that Optimus will dwarf every other Tesla product tenfold reveals. The immense confidence he has in Gen 3's design breakthroughs and Tesla's manufacturing prowess. Crucially, Musk has presented Gen 3's success not just as a hardware win, 
but as a total systems victory, he highlights the synergy between Tesla's 4680 battery tech, its full self-driving computer vision, and its manufacturing expertise dared do you. Believe the Tesla bot Gen 3 could genuinely be more vital than a car in our daily lives? Why or why not? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below this video. Thanks for tuning into our video. If you'd like more fascinating content about Tesla Evs or the Tesla bot, be sure to press the like button and share this video. Also, remember to subscribe to Tesla Car World and activate notifications so you won't miss our upcoming videos. We value your support and can't wait to see you in the next one. Goodbye.